Good morning. Happy Wednesday, my friends. I'm just ready for a new day. I'm getting a notification that I started a, a live video. Let me know. That's good. <laughs> I guess those people can't be on live and not know it, right? Hey, Megan. Hi, Debbie. Good morning, Madeline. How are you? Good morning, Ellen. Hi, Allison. How are you guys? What's new? Anything? Hi, Laura. Good morning, Barb. Happy Wednesday, Allie. So, I did Buenos Dias. I did, um, I Sheila, oh, that little vote thing. And I thought for sure the eggplant would win, but the um, cabbage won. I think I took both those pictures at Roots, which is the little farmer's market that I usually go to on Tuesdays. But I didn't make it there this week. Too much going on. Yesterday was a busy day. But, hi Lisa. So we're going to paint the cabbage. So let me turn this around. Good night, good night in Indonesia. Let me turn this around. I've got it all ready. Hi Irma. I feel like this, my little thing that holds my phone is getting a little too old. I might need to soon throw it away. Makes me a little sad creaky old thing. This might be the last week because I can't quite keep it straight. All right. And I'm working on a flat panel today because I ran out of my big, my, uh, the cow. Oh my gosh. I was having so fun painting that cow. I was also working on a big commission this weekend too. So it was a big painting weekend and I love it. I love when I get to spend my Sunday mornings in the studio. Good morning, Martha. Hi, Ellen. Oh, Allie, I could do that, right? I don't have to reinvent the wheel. I'll just paint all three. I like that idea. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? I don't know what you make with that cabbage. I guess like coleslaw, right? I have no idea if it... Well, it wouldn't have like a solid coleslaw head. I guess you'd... Maybe it's not even cabbage. Maybe it's really just a beautiful lettuce. I don't know. Hmm. I should go back to Roots and see if I can see it and buy it. Good morning, Jackie. Okay, so okay, so I'm gonna start with my transparent colors. The funny thing is now, recently, because I always make those little reels for my reels, because I need to have reels, right? And I do the fast forward thing. I usually mix all my colors before I even start painting. Um, maybe it is ornamental. It could be. Oh, you don't think it's edible? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's not. It could have been at one of the plant stands and not one at the food, one of the food stands because they do have those. You could eat it though. You wonder what it tastes like. I'll have to ask. Maybe I'll go back. It looks like something that might still be there in the, um, okay. So I am going back to my zest it as my medium. Martha, it's, oh, Martha would know. Martha goes to roots. Let me see Martha at roots. So it's a fall plant. Okay. Not something to eat. Good morning, Carol Ann. Hmm. All right. So, and it will be a little tricky. I was thinking about it. You really have to squint at it, and it's very um, obvious. Worms and cools. I mean, not worms and cools. Darks and lights <laughs> and worms and cools. Um, and, like, when I look through the phone at what you're seeing, like, this purple in here glows. These pinks glow. This has kind of got almost an orange or Indian yellow glow to it. So I want to be mindful of trying to capture that. So I'm thinking I should kind of put in those glowy areas first and then go in with, like, warmer, darker colors in my transparent layer. So I'm just thinking out loud. It's tricky because it's kind of a different color palette than, than I'm often used to. But, you know, I love jumping out of my comfort zone. So I think it will be fine. Or if not, it doesn't matter. I always say. Something I've been thinking a lot about recently that I want to do, like in our inspiring art group, is to do some challenges to kind of keep ourselves... Um, creative but like playing around and not being precious with things um 
I think that came a little bit because I've started to, the sage greens in there. Yeah, they are pretty, aren't they, Ellie? I've been, um, now I lost my train of thought. I do that all the time. I've been going back to doing like my um, abstract acrylic paintings a little bit. I think I have that little bit of an itch for um, spontaneity, I guess, or doing something different. It always um, comes back around that I'll do the same paintings, kind of do oil paintings over and over and over again. And I'm challenged by going big or, you know, playing with different things. But then after a while, I want to be loose and free and paint without um, without a care. <laughs> so then I get out my acrylic paints. I think sometimes, too, when you paint on things, like on these panels are expensive. The flat ones aren't too bad, but the the, the bigger panels that I paint on are pretty expensive. Yeah, you're a little more precious and cautious. I am anyway with what I'm doing. So I think sometimes it's good just to do work on paper. Like I went through that whole bat period of time where I did work on paper and I loved that because um, it like kept me from being precious, I think. Palette scape the other day. Oh my, yes, that was so fun too. Yesterday I did a palette knife painting because I just felt like I was started it and I thought oh I don't know what I want to do I feel like doing something different and I thought oh I'll try painting with a palette knife so I think there'll be more of that in the future too that was fun it was a lot of fun This goes dark right into there. So I don't have to, you know, get all my shapes exactly, but I do want to just kind of map out where things will be. This is a shadow. It goes into here. A little glare on there. Does that help? I think so. And I always find it really challenging, and it'll be fun to play around with it, when the colors go, like, from pink to green. Like, they kind of meld together in there, and it's really hard because they're complementary colors. It's hard not to let them get muddy, kind of. So that will be fun, too. Got to keep it fun. And keep these bright areas. Now that's in the shadow. Okay. So where's everybody listening from this morning? This is that bit. I guess I could put these in and kind of pull them back out too. But I do want to be mindful of those glowy spots. Like in here. Let me put a little purple in here to remind myself. Ontario. Um, sometimes, you know, it's also... Um, you can... I kind of go back and forth with how much information I put in my my base layers like this like you don't need to tell your whole story but sometimes I do it a little bit more than others I'm rambling aren't I um Wizard Lake Alberta from Juliana Village Florida still wrapping my head around you <laughs> you live in a new place <laughs> it's like my daughter the other day said she had went somewhere and she had to write down her Either it was either I think it was her name, might have been her zip code, and you know of course she deferred back to her maiden name. It's funny it takes a while when you move to get used to remembering that you have a new, new place. As if I know I've lived in the same house now for over thirty years, <clears throat> and in the same town for my whole life, so I don't really remember not living here 
coffee in Queens, LOL. That's, I'm having my coffee too. My fat cow coffee this morning. Thank you, Martha. It is so good. I had a little bit of that other green on there. It's just on my brush. Uh, somebody's car horn's going off. I don't think it's mine. Nope, it stopped. I like that purple in there. It's a little more purple. Because that'll pick up in, in the next layers. moving a little slow this morning. I was at a party. Whoops. No, wait. I was at a party last night. It was like a fundraiser. <clears throat> Someone won and we got invited to it. It was really a lot of fun, but I'm not used to having that much fun on a Tuesday. And I didn't make it to yoga, which is like my favorite, but it was really fun. I had a great time. I feel like I'm having a slow start this morning. Still abundant in boxes. Yeah, I can't even imagine doing that, unpacking all that stuff. I don't think I'd be very good at that. <laughs> unpacking anything I don't even like unpacking when I get home from the weekend I can't imagine unpacking everything that you own uh, let's put a little red in here I feel like that's quite the mess I almost feel like my messy middle keeps getting messier and messier so the shape is like here And this is a big light area there. Hmm. All right. I think that looks perfectly messy. Should I do pigment sticks? I'll do pigment sticks next and then we'll mix colors. So what's new with everybody? new and fun I've just been painting um, you know what else I have to start um, working on getting airfare for my France trip and um, <clears throat> I have some things I have it um, things in a show at S Square Pair Gallery in Kennett Square so I had to run those down there on the other day so if anybody's in the area I will be there on Friday evening. That will be fun. That's a fun little gallery. Mike could pick up an organ. Yes, Mike can do that. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, my studio needs a good cleaning up. He was putting away all my artwork, like the things that I've left over from art shows and putting it all on shelves. I honestly have to say I'd probably never get around to it. It would just stay in the boxes. But then when I sell paintings, I can't find them, which is terrible. But I use a um, an app called Artwork Archive to organize all my stuff, and it really helps me stay organized. Oh, is your house near the beach? I didn't see that. Good start for 10 minutes. Thank you. All right. I was just looking back to see if I missed anything. Put that in here. That glowy area is. I love adding in these colors that really aren't even in it. It's just 
Reckless crazy fun. Not really close to the beach and idiots between two lakes and near Disney World. Oh, that's fun. You like to go to Disney World? I haven't been there in years. The last few times we went to Disneyland, California. And now all my kids are older. I mean, I would love to go. I would go even without kids. I do love it. It's not somewhere we go very often. Mostly probably just because it's far away. Good evening. Um, hmm, I think that's good. I think I'm going to stop with that. <clears throat> hurricane damage. Is there going to be another hurricane? I went to Fireman's Camp Out at Fort Wilderness last weekend. So fun. Oh, isn't that neat? What does that mean, a Fireman's Camp Out? You didn't stay overnight, or did you? I love how soft that looks. Isn't it fun? Okay. Good morning, Corinne. Um, so I need to mix pinks and greens. The greens are cooler. They look more like Viridian up here. Oh, maybe I should put a little of this pigment stick up here because there's definitely some of that kind of Kelly green happening right up here. A little reminder to make sure that stays in there. So I would say my shadows look warm and my highlight areas look cool. Would you say that? It doesn't really matter. I guess just as long as I choose one or the other and try and in that direction, it usually helps. So, all right, let me go back over here and turn this down. Bring this a little closer. It's like I have you in my, my lap here. Whoop, this is my problem with this thing. It doesn't stay anymore. Like it's so loose. All right, and it might fall. So just be warned that you may fall. Keeps it exciting, right? Here's a little bit of a green. I was playing around with greens this morning because I had extra time just to see what I needed to use. All right, so let's start um, with the reds and then do the greens. Move my things out of the way. Ellen says, my niece's family camped out and my sister and I visited during the day. My idea of camping is Holiday Inn Express. Yeah, I always say I, I, can't, I like camping to be nicer than home. I don't think I've camped since I was in elementary school. <clears throat> it's not something I'm very good at, but... Um, <laughs> that would be how I would like to do it, too. So I want to keep it cool... Not real sure. Maybe I'll add a little black into it. Get it really dark. Um, and I'm going to put a little bit of this um, radiant pink out here on my palette, too. Oh, you can't see all my colors, right? I like camping, but not so much, yeah. Uh, I don't think that I would mind camping. I just don't like like the bathrooms and the showers, like all that. I think I'd like glamping. Like, I could sleep anywhere. I wouldn't mind that part of it. Oh, that's nice. That's a good, cool, um, I definitely see that color in there. Lighten it a little bit more. Hotel camping, yes, me too. <laughs> okay, so that really looks nice. I'll add a little bit of gray into that. And a little bit of Viridian and see what I get. See if I get a kind of a greenish, pinkish. Ooh, that's fun, isn't it? Like, who would ever think to mix those? Oops, I'm not seeing it. That's I love that color. Um, and I think that's definitely in there, so we'll leave that. I'm kind of holding this with my other hand. No, wait. All right, I think I got to... 
boxes. I can't clean my brush. A fire pit outside of s'mores. A hot indoor shower and a comfy bed. Yep, me too. That would be my kind of camping. All right, I am getting out um, this other beast to use because that other one, that was just... Hold on. <laughs> You're going on a wild ride here. Now I'd have to put this down a second. I need to go in search of a better system here because if I turn this like the way I'm supposed to, it's hard for me to read the comments. I will try. All right, that's better. I think you're propped better. If you can see me doing this and how this is all. All right, let me scooch out of the way a little bit. <clears throat> Here we go. Sorry for my problems here this morning. Okay, I do love that color. So I want to now. I want to do. I want to do warm pinks. So I'm going to use my my um, permanent rose, which I really should just put more out here. But I just bought myself a new one of those. The same color of cool versus warm. So I was trying to think about explaining that and I'm still learning it, but it's more about not necessarily the color being cool or warm, it's what it's next to. So I could take the same color or I can mix it. Like say I took um, like the magenta and I mixed it with warm white or cool white, it gets warmer looking. So, and this is a warm, warmer color. And now I want to lighten it, keep it cool. I want to cool this color. So I'm going to use white. I'm going to put white in there and see how that looks. So that's a cool, that looks very cool. I don't know, you know, I'm still kind of struggling with warms and cools. I think it's, it's got, it's a lot of the magic of what happens, but it's also a little challenging. Um... I feel like I could mix this, just make kind of a, I love mixing colors. That's a really neat color too, isn't it? I think, I'm trying to think what else I need. I think they look good. I think that's going to really pop. Like you can even see on here how much that's going to pop as my light pink amidst all of these other colors. So you know if your colors look good on your palette, they're probably gonna look great together on your painting. So the commission that I was working on, she wanted the background to be terracotta. And <laughs> like I could hardly even think what terracotta was and to mix it, it's not really in my palette. So look, I went and got this out of the cupboard, a terracotta plate and matched my colors to it. It was kind of fun to do that. Oh, thank you, Ellen. <laughs> it's one of those mornings you know we are just finishing up full moon so I do I'd like to use that as my excuse for why this is happening this morning okay all right it's still a little crooked but okay I'm gonna do the greens up here so you can see I was just trying to kind of figure out um I'm going to add a little bit of um, gray into that. That lined it up too much, but it's a really nice color. So I'll pull that down here. I need more of that Viridian. What do you think I did with it? Is this it? No, that's sap green. Oh my goodness. I just put it out here this morning, and now I don't know what I did with it. Um, oh, here it is. It's not in the green area. I found it. So I want to keep that like warmer. So maybe I'll add a little brown into it and see. I'm going to clean my palette knife off. You have to always keep your knives and your brushes clean. I'll add just a little bit of brown in there. Warm that up a little bit. Yep, that 
that's a good nice warm green and let's just make it a little a little pink in there Yeah, that neutralized it. That's nice. I want to keep this cool. So I'm going to add a little bit of this light blue in here. Brighten that up a little bit. I need more of that. That's the hardest part, I think, with me with painting large is mixing up enough paint. Like, I only need this little itty bit for, you know, these small paintings. And when I go big, I need my piles to be huge. <clears throat> Recent big blog. Oh, from my blog. Okay. I don't know. I think that's good. Let's start with that. Oh, I need one neutral, like... There's a spot uh, where you see through to underneath, like a little beige area. Of course, that's the biggest pile of paint I made. Okay. White to light green or yellow? Oh, either. You could, I used, I think, the white to lighten the green, but you could use either. Any, oh. <laughs> this is really in my way. All right, let me move this over. See if we can get this adjusted so I'm not dropping you guys. All right. This is a monster, but it is sturdier. Oops. All right, is that good? Can you see that? I see that pretty well. Maybe better than normal, except I can't see what you're saying. So I'll just every now and then pop down here and look. With my other thing, like the cord is shorter, and so I can kind of read. It's kind of right in front of me. All right, I'm gonna go in and put my dark areas in. Um, trying to let bits, the some of it glow still. All right, good, perfect. So that means you're adjusted in there, okay. One of the things that I'm trying to learn and pay attention to, um, especially in my big paintings, is color temperature shift. So like in here, I want when you squint that you can hardly tell that that blue is a different value than, and that's a, like kind of more of a cooler color but if you really squint you barely see that they're different colors but it really pops and that's what helps to give things dimension so like if you see a big shape of a color you have to look in there to see if there's a shift in color at all I'm always learning I think I have like three different classes in my cart that I want to take right now um, one of them is Peggy Kroll Roberts is, is offering um, a class. And I love her, like, gestural people. I was thinking about doing that. I really should sign up. I think it starts, like, tomorrow or something. Oh, Irma said, love the un underpainting. Thank you. Yeah, me too. I want got now. I have to pay attention to keeping that spontaneousness and not letting it um, disappear. Well, and keep adding in. So I'm kind of sitting back, squinting, looking at the at the dark and light areas. They're very distinct, which should help me. big chunks of color.
yeah, a good exercise of doing this would be to look at that and try to paint it without, um, like in two color or something or three color. Will you try to keep the ruffled edges or let that detail go? Well, I won't try to do it now, but I'll probably try to give a feel for that toward the end, um, but not do it right now because then I get too lost in the detail and I don't want to do that. Sip of my coffee. This is that messy middle stage that looks like it would make cool fabric, right? It's fun. It's like just like carving out the painting now from kind of what's the road map that's there. <clears throat> that's where that one little bit of kind of this lighter color is. Maybe too bright. I'll soften that a little bit. That looks good. Love this part. Me too. I think with spoon flour, you can, your art, on printed fabric. Oh yeah, I did that. Um, Carol Ann made me a, the cutest little apron um, for when I do art shows. And that's what I did. I uploaded some of my art to Spoonflower and did that. And it really was neat. And yes, thank you, Carol Ann, for my apron. It's nice because when you put up um, a tent, your hands are full of a million different things, so it's nice to have somewhere to put all like the little hooks and stuff. What do we think here? There. All right, I'm taking a sip of my coffee. All dark and this is all light right in there I could even go in there and do a little bit of that to see how it looks yeah I want just bits of the detail that needs maybe that's too dominant maybe that needs to go a little a little more gray here. The shadow. Oh, I see that needs to lighten in there. I was missing this bit right here. Feel like that comes forward. I think it does. Um, yeah, that's nice. And this. Like that. 
that's probably all the description that that needs. But this needs to, this is still all in shadow, but there's definitely another petal here. Push this back. That's a lot to look at, a lot to think about. And I want to keep it simple. And that'll be my brighter pinks in here. My shadow area is looking shadow. I'm squinting my eyes a lot to see. This even might have some of this. Whoops. I'm actually putting some of this lighter color that I made for in there up into these leaves. All right, I'm gonna work up in here. I find myself avoiding areas sometimes because they feel like they're scary or something. <clears throat> I always say when you feel like you're avoiding something, just dive right into it. Don't avoid it. I think maybe it's because you're thinking about it's probably pulling your attention toward it, right? glow right there. I don't want to lose that. <clears throat> that a lot of glare. Is that better? I need a, someone to come in here and help me light my studio. I love that. I just don't know who that is. <clears throat> Hmm. I'll do some of these neutrals inside here. Um, it really is a lot about what colors go next to what other colors. Now, how do you know that other than practice and playing around with things? I don't know because I'm still learning it, but um, I'm thinking, <clears throat> what did Ellen say? She said, it's so fascinating to watch the painting evolve. I, you know, I honestly think so too. It's a little magical. I think I really have very little to do with it. It just sort of happens. It's trusting the process and practicing, but... And that whole pinkish greenish thing is just something else. Like the this in here needs to go a little more green. Like it has a green tint in there. So I'll just put a little green in. This too feels a little green. <clears throat> That's kind of in shadow, this petal here. I 
I think I can soon start putting my lighter pinks in. Good morning, Isabel. Carolyn said, I think this painting, a big key was getting your darks really dark. It makes what you're doing now look really work. Yes, it's very extreme. Like when you squint at that image, <clears throat> the darks and lights are very extreme. And that might make the whole painting easier because you don't have to work so hard to think about what, where the darks and lights are. Right? Um, am I ready to go in and do a little bit of the the lightest lights. I love that little spot there. And I think I'm going to try to keep this big brush even when I go in there and do that. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's play with that. Now this little petal right here kind of transitions. It's on top of that shadow, but it blends in to like this green. Yeah, this would be a really good one to do with just a few tones of color. coming forward. I think it is. <clears throat> Pink to the green. Oh, what did you say here? I, didn't, I don't know if I can see that. Oh, Anita said, I love how it spirals out from the dark center to the light outside leaves and the, and the pink to green. Challenging, but I know you'll work your magic. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm never so sure. So this that's where I could put in some little texture, kind of, where that's all happening. Oops, I got little spurts there. That needs to go even darker in here. Sorry, I'm holding my breath a lot here. Oh, I think I'm missing this little. That has to stay really bright right there. And this is another little petal there. <clears throat> and I'm missing, this needs to separate right here, I think. Yep, I was missing that, wasn't I? Um... need to pay attention to just putting down intentional brush strokes and not, you know, going in and fussing with areas. Let's darken here. <clears throat> That's light. Put in some more light areas. need
see. Down, up there on the left. You did it. <clears throat> oh, I don't know what that was. What was Anita doing with her down, up arrow? Um, oh, there's bright pink right there. Um, What did I just say that was bright pink? What did I miss? Maybe. Sometimes it's hard. Like I do lose bits of my brightness here. I would like to be a little brighter. So I don't want to overwork the areas that I have where it's still glowing a little bit. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> he's teaching you how to wave. Oh, I love all the waves. That's fun. Yeah, Allie's been helping to raise a lot of money for, what's it, Aaron's Acres? Is that what it's called, Allie? I'm sure they are grateful that you landed in their world. Is that in Queens? I guess it probably is, right? Now it's starting to come together. Do a couple of roughly areas, maybe. I have a little bit of orange up in there. It definitely does have that feel. I feel like my brush is feeling clunky. A little large. Good. I'm putting a little bit of um, ruffle in, not too much. And this has kind of this grayish green in here, so I'm just adding a little bit of just a touch of that green in there. So it's in the same value, but do you see how that does look a little? A little more green underneath here. Yeah, I like those little bits of green. All right, what else do I need to do here? Um, do I feel like the center's going in enough? <clears throat> Oops, I didn't mean to get that color. Um, I think it's getting there. What spots am I missing? I think I'm missing some of my lightest light pinks. I think I need to mix just a little bit more of my lightest pink. Um, I used it all up <clears throat> and it was starting to get a little um, 
a little something, a little muddy. We don't want muddy. All right, last bits and I think we're good. Let's see. I'm just going to keep using this brush, even though I feel like it's huge right now. I think if I switch to a smaller brush, it'll lose something. of my chunky um, color in there. <clears throat> There's even just a little bit of purple here. a little touch of orange in here. Yeah, that helped a little bit. This needs to go a little darker right here. I don't know, it's getting there. What do you think? Do you see spots that are missing? I need a little... Maybe I do need a smaller brush to get in there. And my time's just about up. So I do have a smaller, it's the same kind of brush, it's just a little one, and I'm just putting some little bops of color where um, here Oops. I don't know you think I should be finished Lightest light in here. Let's see how thick my paint is now. Smooth that a little bit. I think that's good. I don't know that anything I'm doing now is adding to how it looks. <clears throat> so I'm going to sign it. That's how I always kind of guess that I'm finished is when I feel like I'm just putting down paint and I'm not really making it progress at all. I do. I did keep glow in here. I love that bit of <clears throat> blue pop of color there. I do love the orange. I'm glad I put that like Indian yellow in the background there. Yeah, I like it. Sometimes it's good too to step away and really look at it. All right, so there's my, my painting and my phone's acting wonky. See that in there? And then that was, it was really pretty simple palette. Susie, I have been mostly always signing on the left side. Sometimes I think about the the layout and I'll put it on the other side, but I don't know. I've just been liking the left lately. I did notice that I've been doing that. <clears throat> so thanks for coming and hanging out with me, guys. I will put this up on YouTube if you want to watch it again, and it'll be linked on my 
on my page. And anybody who's in my inspiring art group, I'll see you at 11 for drawing. So I've got to get ready for that. So thanks for coming. It was great to hang out with all of you. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye. Thanks, Irma.